All right, welcome everyone. We are going to go ahead and get started now with our Congolium Air Set Vibe End Zone webinar. Again, this is Ellen Smith from Bishop Distributing, and we're happy to have you all joining us today. We'll be sharing some great information with you about these new products that Congolium has to offer. Um, before we go ahead and dig into the information, I just wanted to cover a couple of housekeeping items. Um, <clears throat> first thing is that you are all muted today to avoid background noise. However, we do encourage you to ask questions throughout the presentation, and I'll be reviewing those. And um, we will have time for Q&A at the end of the presentation today. So in order to be able to see your questions, I need you to type them in using the um, GoToWebinar toolbar on your screen. There's a questions box. All you'll need to do is type the question in and send it, and then I will be able to see those throughout and at the end so that we can go ahead and make sure those questions get answered for you. So that is about it. With that, I'd like to hand things over to Bill Hamlin, who many of you know is the Congolian product manager here at Bishop. And he will be covering the uh, bulk of the presentation today. Thanks, Ellen. Good afternoon, everybody. It's been as busy a year as I can remember going back through my 25-year history with Congolium. First, there was Endurance Plank. The Endurance Plank was updated. Four, four 16 by 16 tiles were added to the line, and the price list price was reduced about 50%. Next, AirStep Advantage came out. AirStep Advantage is Congolium's premier AirStep line. Dura Ceramics pricing was reduced by more than 20%, and it received its unparalleled number one ranking by Consumer Reports for the fifth straight year. Alpha was introduced as a base grade vinyl with the same construction and warranty as Prelude, but at a significantly significant cost savings. With Alpha, most dealers are finding out that Congolium has the lowest priced felt sheet product on the market. Then Omega was introduced as a companion product to Alpha, but with a Ultratech back. Now Congolium has a base grade product that can be loose laid, perimeter adhered, or full spread. Dura Ceramic Dimensions was introduced in a 12 by 24 inch size and it's become an immediate success. Structure, Congolium's first commercial LVT line was introduced and it's capturing a lot of sales right out of the gate. Combinations of its visual, its construction, the warranty, and structure's aggressive pricing really has caught the market. All of those brings us right up to Zone and AirStep Vibe, the products we're going to talk about today. What we're going to do is take just a quick minute to tell you what Zone and Vibe are, and then we're going to look at them a little bit closer. First, what is Zone? Zone is a 10-foot wide vinyl sheet. It's made of extruded vinyl, mainly for commercial use, but it's got some real good installation applications for residential use only. Also, excuse me. It can be used in enclosed area that drop below 55 degrees. That's a new one for Congolium and for most hard surface products. It is an innovative product that opens up new possibilities. And what is Vibe? Vibe is Congolium's newest air step edition. It's got a 20 mil wear layer for light commercial installations, but unlike other commercial products, it has all the bells and whistles that you've come to expect from, from AirStep. Think of Vibe not as a stripped down version of AirStep. Think of it as a version of AirStep Evolution or Advantage with a 20 mil wear layer that allows you to promote it as a commercial product. So that's a thumbnail sketch of Zone and AirStep Vibe. Now let's take a little closer look at Vibe in particular. Vibe, great for residential and light commercial installations. I see most of this happening in residential settings just based on the patterns, but it is a great product to use for commercial use also. Four upscale designs and 23 fresh contemporary colors. It's a low gloss urethane and it has aluminum oxide, has built-in scotch guard and silver antibacterial protection, and this is the key point for Vibe as it designates it as anything different than other AirStep products, the dense construction in the 20 mil wear layer allows us to call it a light commercial product. 
plenty of vibe has been put in in doctor's offices and dentist's office and retail shops, but they haven't had a light commercial warranty. Now there's an AirStep product that has a light commercial warranty. So what makes Vive different than other commercial sheet products? Scotchgard wear layer means nothing sticks to it. Silver antibacterial protection means it fights germ growth. And the urethane wear layer with aluminum oxide means you don't need to do a polish. AirStep Vibe is unmatched in the light commercial market. No other product combines all of these features and gives you all of these benefits. If you think about other commercial sheet products you're familiar with, none of them has all of these features. Congolium has an exclusive agreement with 3M, the company that manufactures Scotchgard, and Congolium is the only company with resilient products that can feature Scotchgard. That's a huge advantage, and it's nice to be able to offer that on a commercial product. So let's look at Scotchgard and what it offers. For liquids, think Kool-Aid, grape pop, paint, ink. Nothing stains it, and it simply wipes right up. And what about solid products? Think crayon, magic marker, shoe polish, mud, mud by the back door near the high chair, or maybe SpaghettiOs, things like that. You know what? Nothing sticks to it. Everything just wipes right out. We do all the stain-resistant demos in the store. We talk about cleanability. We talk about stain resistance. But it is really the cleanability that your customers will love day in and day out. It is super easy to clean. And that's something that your consumers will like each and every day they have a Scotchgard product down in their home or in their business. Let's talk about Scotchgard for just a minute power of Scotchgard. You know, really, it repels everything. Nothing sticks to it. And for your customers who have a green bend, it's nice to be able to talk about cleaning it just with warm water. No harsh chemicals needed. And since we're talking about customers with a green bend, something else you can talk about when you talk about any AirStep product is that if you perimeter adhere it or loose lay it, AirStep in a residential installation saves approximately three or four cubic feet of wood, and it doesn't have any VOC issues for, excuse me, from adhesive gassing off. So if you need to talk a green story, AirStep products have a great green story to talk about. So now let's look at some of the patterns here. And we're going to look at first, this is kind of an unusual name. It's called Boulder. If you look at it, it's a wood plank product, and you wonder why it's called Boulder. But actually, it's named for the city in Colorado. Think of Boulder as a reclaimed wood look. It's a rustic wood, but don't think barn wood. Think more reclaimed wood from, say, a river bottom. Or think about reclaimed wood from an old factory or storage facility. It is a rustic look, but it's more of a subtle rustic look than the harsh barn wood look. It comes in 9 inch by 54 inch scale. And it comes in six colors. Here we show it in a commercial setting. And this picture does a nice job showing the heathering of colors that Congolian has really focused on the last four or five years. Even though that's predominantly a gray floor, you can see some tan or some brown accents also. So the products are designed to accept a wide palette of complementary colors within the room. Next, we have a residential setting, sort of an upscale residential setting. Works fine there. And then we have a, a uh, living room setting, which has a nice soft look to it. The Boulder series has six colors. And people that are familiar with Boulder will recognize these names. Long's Peak, Pearl Street, Continental Divide, Haystack, El Dorado Canyon, and Flatirons. All of those names mean something to people from the Boulder area. Next, we have an exciting cutting edge design with a European flavor. And it is called Barcelona. It's an unusual look. And if you first look at it and you scratch your head, I want to tell you that the influence comes from the European community. 
in the Style and Stone Design magazine from the summer edition, there's some examples of ceramic tile that actually have this same visual. So this is an up-and-coming visual. It's pretty new to the United States, but it's a visual that you're going to see in ceramic tile. It's going to be coming in other floor covering um, offerings down the road. This is an example of Dodie Horn, Mongolian's VP of Styling, and her influence and her involvement with the European community. But this one looks like a wood parquet. The next picture here looks almost like a commercial carpet as it goes down that hallway. That really comes off as an overall look, more so than you would think when you look at the sample up close. Next, we have a residential setting, followed by that upscale dining area in a home. Then we have a rec room. And that shows five of the six colors. Barcelona comes in six colors. I would recite all these names, but frankly, they have some uh, European names that are difficult for me. So when you get them, uh, <laughs> Please try them yourself. But there are six colors in Barcelona, and it should be a nice addition to the line. It might not be one of those lines that people go to ultimately, but it's one of those interesting designs that starts stimulating conversation. It might not be the final pick, but it might make it easier to pick something else on the line because they've been able to scratch that itch for that unusual product. So everyone's not ready for Barcelona. For those people, there's Boston. Boston is an 18 by 18 scale. It's conservative, but yet dramatic. Comes in five SKUs. Here we have it in a nice tan. Next picture shows it's a nice soothing pattern there in the kitchen. Now we, next we show a very appealing look in a laundry room. And these floors, even though they look like just 18-inch squares, they're not bisque. When you get the samples, you look at them up close, there's a lot of movement within those squares. Some people call it an old lino look. Some people call it a cork look. There's a lot going on within all of those squares that really give it some visual interest, but yet they're not overpowering. Lastly, we have Berlin. This is a traditional stone look overall, uh, excuse me, overlaid with random etched lines. The scale, I think it might be 12 by 24, but it's actually 13 by 27. The, the pattern or the series that this most evokes a uh, connection to is Grand Canyon and Evolution. Grand Canyon and Evolution is the number one selling series in Evolution. Think of 72050, 021, especially 023. This series has that same feel. I think you're going to find that this series will probably be the number one seller and mimic the success that Grand Canyon has in, in Airstep Evolution. Here it is in a kitchen setting. Next we go to a kind of a rec room setting in a home. Here's a little bit different look here. Very striking, very dramatic. Next, we go to a more of a living room look that's a little more traditional living room look. And last, we have set in a meeting room setting. Some very nice looks. The names for this series are a little bit difficult to read, but I'll try a little of them. Uh, Mitt, Tempelhof, Brandenburg, Railway. So those are names that if you're familiar with that city, those names would be something that would resonate with you. That's the vibe line, 23 patterns in four styles. It's a great addition to the Airstep family. Now here's a question for you. Have you seen this display lately? That display should be short-lived for this world. Whatever it takes. The original Airstep display was designed for about 35 samples. With Vibe and Basic in the display, there are more than 100 Airstep samples. As a matter of fact, there's 123. And with Omega, there's 136 samples in Airstep now. This old tabletop just doesn't work anymore. So whatever it takes, 
whatever it takes, this display needs to go. If you have this display in your store, please talk to your TM. Give me a call. We'll do whatever it takes to get that out of, out of the store. If we try to put all of these new samples in that display, it will be virtually impossible to work with. You won't want to pull samples out of it. It will be a display that you'll just have a tendency to go right on by and show customers another product just because it will be so difficult to use. This display worked great when there were only 20 or 30 samples in the line, but now with over 100 samples, it really just doesn't lend itself well to showing the product. And there is a great alternative. This display is what you need for air stuff. It's called the Fashion Showcase. It's not quite six feet wide at the base. It's a little under six feet wide at the base where the page frames fan out to the right and the left. It's a little more than six feet wide. The height of the display is a little over seven feet, but the page frames stop just about six feet. So it doesn't take up a lot of room vertically in your showroom. If you don't want to put this on an outside wall, you could put it in the middle of your showroom and still be able to look over it. It has sort of an uh, internal framework to it, so it's not boxed out. So it really does give an airy feel to a six-foot display. This display is available in air step only or in the full line display. What's nice about that is that you can have it for air step. It looks exactly the same, or you could have it with air step and with sheet vinyl. The exact same display, all that they do is we give you more page frames and we give you the felt back samples and they go in every other slot rather than every other slot with air stuff. So if the exact same display fits either just the air step lineup or the air step and the traditional felt lineup. These are attractive compact displays and they work well. As difficult as it is to believe, um, well, if you've used them, it's not so difficult to believe. But all these newfangled preacher stands or stack displays, although they're innovative, they really aren't easy to use. The consumer can't just pull a few samples out and throw them on the floor. You can't just leaf back and forth to try to see that sample you saw five or six back. If you want to take some home, they're easy to get out. These front-loading page frames, after much research, have really been found to be the best way to go for sheet vinyl. So even though this looks like a display you've had in your store for five years or 10 years or 15 years, Congolium did a lot of research and they really do feel that front-loading page frames is the way to go. So if you have one of the old future stand displays, like I say, please get a hold of your TM or please get a hold of me. We'll do whatever we need to to get you into one of these new displays. I think everyone will be a lot happier with them. So now let's cover zone. What is zone? It's designed to hold up for commercial use, but zone also has some fun applications residentially. It is a 10-foot extruded vinyl sheet product both residentially and commercially. I think you'll find that most of your work will be commercial installations, but we'll show you some fun pictures here or some, some, some fun applications you can use for residential settings. It comes in six colors, and it, you need to know that three are standard colors and three are premium colors. The blue, the red, and the yellow, the real vibrant colors, those are premium colors, and they cost a little more. The three standard colors are the gray, the black, and the tan, and of course they cost a little less. It comes in three patterns, so all six of these colors come in three different geometries. A diamond plate, or Congolian just calls it diamond. The next one I would call is raised circle, but it's actually just called honeycomb. And the third one is a European geometric design that's actually just called geometric. We'll talk about why it's called geometric European geometric here in just a minute. Let's take a look at some of the room scenes after we talk about whether or not you can heat weld it or chemical seal it. Yes, indeed, you can do either one. And the last point is it can go in three season porches, cabins, garages, and other unheated rooms. We all know that quite a bit of sheet vinyl goes into three season porches or those cabins up north or 
other areas where it's not unheated, or excuse me, where it's not heated, those never come with a warranty. They usually work, but you don't get the blessing from the manufacturer. Here's a product that you can put into those unheated covered situations, and Congolian will say, we're okay with that. This product will work in those applications. So now let's take a look at some of the visuals. This is kind of fun. This is what we're talking about with some of the premium colors. This is a vibrant floor. This is why we call it a fun floor. There isn't very many floors out there that look like this. This is honeycomb in yellow. Next one is blue in a workout room. Next we have a laundry with the tan. That's one of the standard colors. And here we have the diamond plate or the diamond in a nursing home or a hospital setting. This picture does a nice job of showing a grid work in the floor. What's nice about these patterns, and all of them share this ability, is the fact that you can seam on these grid work areas here so you don't have to try to cut through the diamond plate or you don't have to cut through the circle or you don't have to cut through the geometric geometric design and try to match it up. There are places to seam these floors that make it real easy to seam. Here we have honeycomb in an office setting. And here we have honeycomb in a laundry. I'm not sure how many people would put a bright blue floor in their laundry, but it certainly is an eye-catching display here. This is, a, this is a fun floor to work with. Here we have it in a child's bedroom. And here's the geometric series in a rec room. We have one more picture of the geometric series, and this is in an exercise room. Real quickly, this geometric design, the germ or the genesis of this, is from a sewer grate either in Milan or Barcelona. The story gets a little bit confusing. But Dodi Horn, the VP of styling at Congolium, while in Europe, took many pictures. And one of the pictures she took was of a sewer grate that had this interesting design. And she took it and she adapted it to something that works well for floor covering. So that's kind of a fun look that you probably won't see anywhere else. So if you're looking for something unusual, this is the geometric design in zone. There are just to go over it again, three premium colors, red, blue, and yellow, and three standard colors, black, tan, and gray. There are reducers for all six colors. These reducers would take the material down to its 100 gauge thickness down to zero. So you can reduce this down to a flat area so you don't have that edge that would catch, and you don't have to try to find a Johnsonite or a metal to make it work. So these are nice. They come 10 foot lengths which is the exact same width of the material. So it's nice to have these transition strips, these reducers, to go along with the product. We were not going to spend a whole lot of time reading this information. It's probably pretty small on your screen. This is on the back of the strap set. But what I wanted to point out here is that there are three different ways to adhere it. You can fully adhere it. And if it's going to be a commercial setting, we recommend that it gets fully adhered. But you can also perimeter adhere the product in a residential setting, or you can modify loosely it in a residential setting. And a modified loosely means that every edge must be covered with trim. If you have a situation where you don't have something covering an edge, then you'd need to at least perimeter adhere it. But if you had molding to go over every edge of the product, you could put it in as a modified loose slate product. Let's talk about merchandising for a minute. This is a nice, small, compact, eye-catching display. You notice the header is the same as the sheet vinyl header that we've shown you. When you see the structure display that's going to come out in two or three weeks, it'll have that same header. So Congolium's really making an effort to have a consistent look throughout your store with the same type of sort of curved header there on a Lexan panel with the Congolium name 
etched on top. This display, very, very small, very, very colorful and eye-catching, shows the primary colors, it shows the, the basic colors also, and then it has a real nice room scene on the other side. If you notice there, also right in the middle, there is a strap set. And if you decided you didn't want that display, you didn't think the display was really what you needed because you're looking mostly at commercial installations, that strap set is available, and we have those in stock right now. So if you'd like a strap set, talk to your TM. That's not a 9 by 12 strap set, but I think it's more like 6 by 9. Big enough to show the color, big enough to show the pattern. So we do have those zone strap sets available. And like all of Congolium sheet vinyl products, zone is made in the USA. Zone is kind of a poster child product for the new way of thinking at Congolium. Congolium is always going to have those basic products that perform well for you, but the new management is really, really, really committed to the thought of having different products, making Congolium a different Congolium than it was 10 years ago or even five years ago. The zone is a nice product to kind of uh, be the capstone or be the poster child for what the new Congolian has to offer. So what's coming up soon? There's a new sheet update coming in December. should be in your stores by the first week or the second week in December. There'll be five new air step advantage patterns, six evolution patterns, five air step plus new patterns, the 23 air step by patterns we talked about, and air step basics will be fully now a cut order product, and air step basics will go into your displays. That's a nice lineup for air step, and that's going to be part of the new edition coming in September. Excuse me, December. Also, Dura Ceramic in the spring of 2014, and it will be coming out in the spring of 2014. Um, historically, Dura Ceramic has always been a spring introduction. This last year, there was some concern that Dodie had with the look of the new introduction, so she scrapped it. And that's what made it come out uh, in October rather than the spring. But it's, there is a commitment to getting, out it in, getting it out in the spring of 2014. Excuse me. And between the update that just came out, those uh, 16 SKUs, and the 16 to 20 SKUs that are coming out in April or May, fully 50% of the Dura Ceramic line will have been refreshed within one calendar year. Most people will tell you that Dura Ceramic is a great product. It's the category leader. Uh, the accolade from Consumer Reports five years in a row lets you know that outside sources believe it's a great product. And we'll only reduce the price so that now uh, Dura Ceramic is at least as competitively priced as a Dura and Alterna. And for many of you, Dura Ceramic actually costs less than those products. And the only thing that people were complaining about is some of the Dura Ceramic patterns had been in the display for the full 10 years that Dura Ceramic had been out. And I had heard more than one comment that Dura Ceramic was getting a little old or a little stale looking. So to be able to say within a 12-month period, fully 50% of the line has been refreshed. It's certainly a nice way to look at Dura Ceramic and a nice way to get that thought that Dura Ceramic is tired, get that thought right out of your mind. From A to Z, it's been a busy year at Congolium. From Alpha to Zone, from entry-level products like Alpha and Omega to high-end products like Airstep Advantage, Vibe and Structure, with new products in both the residential and the commercial market, there have been a lot of changes and a lot of improvements with Congolium this year. We thank you for letting us talk to you about Vibe and Zone today. We also thank you for your support and your business. And we really do look forward to a shared success with you and with Congolium as we finish 2013 and look forward to 2014. Thanks, Phil. And it's important to say thank you to everyone for joining us today. We are going to um, have time for question and answer right now, as I mentioned. Also did want to mention our next webinar is scheduled for December 12th, so a few weeks from now. Um, that will be held from 2 to 2.30, and it's going to cover the Shawmark Anything Goes carpet line.
So I'll be looking for information on that. And now I'm going to actually take a look and see if questions have come in. So feel free to get them sent in right now. I'll be looking for them. We had someone ask, I think you answered this then later, can you not heat or chemical well also? Yes, you can do either one of those. So um, Congolium is in the process of getting out information with about their heat welding rods, but obviously they'd be in the same six colors that the material is made made from, and those are should be available any day or as we speak they might be available. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Someone asks um, how VIBE is different from AirStep Evolution or AirStep Advantage. That's a good question. We probably should talk about that. Um, residentially, they'll perform virtually the same because VIBE has a thicker wear layer, a 20 mil wear layer, whereas the other products have about a 14 or a 15 mil wear layer. Because it has a thicker wear layer and it's slightly denser, it might have a little better resistance to cutting and gouging, but all of the AirStep products have warranty protection against cutting and gouging, and they perform extremely well. The big difference is that now you can offer an AirStep product commercially with Congolium's blessing, as opposed to just putting in evolution or advantage and knowing that's going to perform. Now there's a product with a 20 mil layer layer that, that fits that commercial application, but I'd be more than happy with putting in Evolution, Advantage, or Vibe in my home and feel that they're going to they're going to wear and they're going to work exactly the same. Thank you. Um, let's see, we have a couple other questions here. You mentioned that zone can be installed below 55 degrees. Can it be installed in an area where the temperature will go below 32 degrees. As far as I know, yes. There has been nothing that I've read in any of the literature that spoke of a low end or the bottom end. All that I've read is that it could go into areas below 55 degrees. I would think if there were a low end, we would have read about that. So I'm going to say yes. There is, there is no low end parameter of 32 degrees. When we think of those garage settings or we think of those cabins up north, very frequently, if they don't have heat, they're going to be below 32. They're going to be below 32 degrees in the dead of winter. Thank you, and hopefully that answered your question, Jeff. If not, let us know. Um, we have another question similar to the one about evolution and advantage with Vibe. How is it? How is Vibe different than Forever Plus, their other commercial sheet vinyl? That's a good one for me to cover. I'm not sure who sent that in, but I appreciate the fact that you did. Um, let me just put it this way. Vibe is urethane coated. Because it's a urethane, it has a real high melting point. So it can't be buffed. Uh, you might call that an advantage or a disadvantage. But with the urethane wear layer, you'll never have to bring a buffer out and put it on uh, because it just won't work. The high melting point will mean that you'll buff it and you'll buff it and you'll buff it and you won't see any difference. Because it has scotch guard, it doesn't need a polish. And truthfully, because it has scotch guard, it won't accept a polish. The polish will just bead up on it and it won't wet out and you'll just be spreading it around and then you'll have to pick it back up. Again, that could be looked at as a huge advantage because you don't have to polish it, or it could be looked at as a disadvantage if you're used to polishing your commercial floor. The way I think that you should look at it is if I have a floor that's never going to be buffed, and there's plenty of those, or if I'm going to have a floor that's never going to have a polish put on it, Vibe is a perfect floor for me. As a matter of fact, it'll be easier to keep clean than, a, say, a Floor Ever Plus or someone else's PVC product that's designed to be buffed. On the other hand, if I were in a, um, let's say, a cafeteria or a lunchroom right off a factory, and I know that they usually have a maintenance routine where they're buffing it every week or buffing it once a month, or they're polishing that laundry room floor as they polish the VCT, then I'd probably recommend you go with floor ever. So it depends upon the use. But if you're thinking boutique stores, you're thinking doctors or dentist office, you're thinking things like that, 
They, for all intents and purposes, are the intents and purposes are the exact same products, just that buy but have less upkeep for you. Thank you. Um, this is another good question. Where do you see zone being used most? I see zone mostly as a commercial product. It's got some fantastic commercial applications. Think about rubber tiles. Rubber tiles usually are two foot by two foot. Here's a 10 foot product that has that same look installed. Rubber tile has an advantage if you're looking for impact resistance, say in a weight room. But on the other hand, rubber tiles are a lot more expensive than, than zone would be. I would say uh, commercial applications are going to be where most of it goes. But as we showed you in some of those pictures, there are certainly some fun applications in the home. And we all know that there's a certain segment of your uh, consumer base that loves to be able to sprinkle into the conversation when they're talking to their neighbors that I've got a commercial floor in my house. So some, some residential, but primarily commercial, I would think. OK, thank you. Um, been through here. If you have any other questions, please feel free to get them sent in. I haven't seen any come in. We'll, we'll stay on the line here for another minute, but I did just want to thank everyone for joining us today. And we look forward to having you join us on the, our future webinars. If you think of questions after you're off the webinar today, feel free to contact Bill Hamlin or your Bishop Territory Manager.